Well, greetings everywhere. We are at the bench today. Um, we recently went out to the range and Mama Sig shot the P365X macro. And um, there's a lot uh, to learn about that new handgun and maybe some new shooters have that handgun. And so we thought we would uh, do a cleaning. Uh, just a quick cleaning, how we clean this handgun. And um, then if that's helpful at all. So here is the pistol in its current state. I do want to show you that there's no magazine well. Uh, the the uh, chamber's empty. And yes, that is a Band-Aid. Why do you have a Band-Aid? What I'm doing is basically just... I'm <laughs> I'm protecting the sights, uh, the optic right now, because I just don't want to mess with getting all that oil in the optic. And so you can see I've just covered it with a Band-Aid and I put some cotton in the back side. So as I take this apart, we'll, uh, we'll use a cleaning solution. And um, that's why that's there. Okay, so um, I'm going to turn this back toward the bench and then we'll start the process of disassembly and then cleaning, and then reassembly. So stand by. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is take down, take this down. So with the slide back, you might wanna take it down. There's your take down lever. Take down lever's right there. So go ahead and manipulate that down. Rotate it downward. Okay, so I think everybody needs to know is I have never ever cleaned again. Okay. So this is a first. Okay, so we'll take that down. This is a first time. Rotate it down. So, yeah, good. Okay. okay, now you're gonna minute, just let the slide go. You're gonna ease the slide forward. So you're gonna let it back and then and you're gonna maintain control of it. You're gonna go fly off. Go ahead, good. I'm gonna go ahead and take this down. Go ahead. It's not a good down. So, I do now, that too. Now let that go forward. Now go ahead and take the slide off. Hold it straight up. Up and down. Slide forward. Off. Good. Okay. That's it. Put the frame down. Now you're just dealing with the slide. You have, now you have parts of the slide. Okay. So um, turn the slide and hold it this way. Okay. So you need to take the recoil spring out. This is the recoil spring. So the, no, the way you do that is face that to you like this because you're gonna to have to put tension on this to, to get it out. So you're gonna to have okay. to push it this way. Because it'll go vroom. Okay. So, no, hold it in this hand, like this. Left hand like this, right hand right here, and pull back with your right, your strong hand. Okay. Is that, that it's just whole the spring. piece? Yeah, just this, that it is. That's it. Okay, now you have to turn it a little bit, clockwise, back and forth. Oh, there you okay. go. That's it. Okay. Now you okay. have the recoil. You put that down. Okay. Now you're going to take the barrel out in the same position. This barrel. Just this is the barrel. Just lift that out. Put okay. that down. Barrel. Okay. Got it. That's it. That's all. That's it. Those are all the pieces right there. Okay. So no when I put it is. back, I'll put that in. And, okay. All right. So now okay. what do I do? So now. Okay. That's good. Let me get a little closer with this guy. So now that you've got that. Got it taken apart. Now what do I do? Okay. Now we're going to be in the cleaning process, and we're going to use that Hoppies, which is in the jar. Okay. So yeah. unscrew the lid of the jar. You just leave it right there. That's a Hoppies solution. Okay. And then the first thing we do is we want to get that solution all over and start breaking down the carbon on the, on all these parts. Okay. So let's pick the let's pick the frame first, and that uh, nylon toothbrush. Mm -hmm. You dip it in the Hoppies. Mm -hmm. And then you just start working it all in the areas where you can see. Right yeah. Here? Yep. Just start going. Ooh, I should have worn an apron or something. It's gonna get on my clothes. Yeah, it will. It is dirt. Oh, it's dear. dirty. Can you pause it? Would you pause it so I can go get an apron? Okay. I'm stand serious. by. I don't want to get this on my clothes. Okay. Just while she's getting her um, cover, you can just see some of the buildup from the range. There's some, um, yeah, these are the things that we're going to clean as we go. Okay, are you ready? Plus, I just remembered, it's always good to wear some um, gloves. gloves, too, because your hands will smell like 
solvent yeah. for like three days if you don't. Oh, yeah. So go ahead, go ahead and put those on. Oh, are you filming? What's that? Yeah, I'm filming. Okay. So I got my apron on. Let's see. Yeah, I already got some of that solvent on my fingers, so yeah. oh well. Okay, get that on, get the gloves on. Okay. And then we started with the frame. So pick up the frame again. Mm -hmm. No, okay. the frame. Oh, this, yes, yep. the frame. Mm. And just start cleaning it. Yep, and just, yeah, do, run Do that. I go inside? Yep, in you there? run it everywhere. Run that solvent everywhere across that frame. The grooves, mm -hmm. the cracks, and and all the crannies and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And just run that solvent. Solvent is is meant to break down carbon or mm -hmm. build up or, un, or loosen unspent powder as well. So it's mm -hmm. all, all that process is happening. So you want to get it on the, all the grooves that you can find. You can run it. It's okay to run that down the magwell as well. Uh, yep. Also as well. I don't know. How easy. It's kind of redundant, isn't it? But um, good. And okay. then uh, there's a important part of that. It's called the feed feed ramp area. This is the feed ramp. Hold, hold that up. Always hold it. Nope. This is the feed ramp right here. This area right here. Yeah. So it's really important to scrape that. Make sure there's no debris in there. Like you're brushing a tooth. Yeah, there you go. That's how you use it, like a toothbrush. Don't be afraid to rub it. You're not going to hurt anything on that gun with that toothbrush. That's, mm -hmm. that's nylon. It won't scrape it. it. Won't scratch it. But it will break loose okay. any debris. All right. Now what? Ooh! Almost knocked that over. Yeah, Ooh! Put the lid good. back on. Well, you're going to need that. So don't okay, put that back eyes. on. So, okay, and now you can set that down and just okay. let it soak. Let okay. it soak. Now, now you can pick up the, the, um, the slide. And yep, all, all the inside here. Now, if there's a important part here, this is, uh, this is where the hammer comes out. So you wanna make sure that gets hit really well in all this area. So scrape it hard. I mean, uh, brush it hard. Yeah, mm -hmm. get a lot of solvent in there. You're trying to, um, remove any debris that's left from the explosion of that round. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things going on as that round goes off. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then on the back side, back end, hit that too, there you go. Just, uh, just, to, but, and then really concentrate on the grooves on the inside of the slide, because that's, you want your, your slide to function smoothly, yes. Get the grooves in there and go ahead and you can stick that toothbrush down the um, the port of for the barrel, the hole, the barrel. Where, where does the barrel go? The, here? Right, you can stick it in either way. Because there's okay. a, and then I'm gonna show you some, something that we're really gonna have to, really gonna have to work on. Okay. When you do that a few times, then I'm gonna have you Is this hold, gonna make my hair stink? No. But you just never know. No, but it probably will. It probably will make my hair stink. It'll, it'll, it'll come. <laughs> Am I gonna have to wash my hair? That's an important thing. Okay, so um, let's hold the, sl the slide upright in your palm, left hand, and facing away from you. Upright, upright, no, <laughs> like this. Oh, okay. Okay, this area right here, where the comp compensa compensation is, see that right there? Yeah. You can see that grayness in yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. not good. So you're gonna have to really s go across this area with a toothbrush, like, yeah. You really wanna get in there. That's one of the things that they have to watch out for this gun. Because that compensation is happening, you're, you're getting all that blowout from the round coming out the top of that slide. So you've got to clean that area because it does build up, even in the what, 500 rounds that we have in it, it's mm -hmm. built up quite a bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, keep keep going over that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, hit every... every Meanwhile, I'm mostly concerned about my hair. <laughs> okay. Okay, I know. Okay. Yeah, just inside of the slide, and then make sure you hit um, okay. where the hammer comes out. Where the, they, that, that? Right, right there. That comes out, firing pin, sorry, not hammer. Yeah. Firing pin comes out, hits the back of the casing. Mm -hmm. It's the primer and causes the explosion. So, okay. Okay, good, set that aside. Okay. Go pick it, go ahead and pick up your coil spring. Okay. And just leave that, it's all, it's sealed, so you can't take it apart. Right. So just run a bunch of that solvent on it. 
and just yeah, really, really, really get in there with it. And just soak it up. And all, we're gonna dry all this stuff up. We don't leave the gun as sloppy as it looks right now. Yeah, there's a heavy dose of solvent, and that's all you want. The slide is gonna, or excuse me, the barrel is gonna be the most intricate part and important part of your cleaning because it involves several steps. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Just get a good layer on it mm -hmm. and then okay. set that aside and just let it set in a solvent. That's, mm -hmm. let it stew. You're letting it stew. Okay, first thing you wanna do with a brush, you're only gonna do a little bit with a toothbrush. You're gonna hit this end of the barrel because there's a, a fouling and letting can happen and mm -hmm. collect there. So you scrape it like you're brushing it. Yep, yeah, get like sh 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 mm -hmm. crossed. Yeah, brush it across. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, and then what's of utmost important is the feed ramp. That's the feed ramp. See the feed ramp? Mm -hmm. Make sure there's no debris and you have to run your finger across that too. And get that end of the, of the barrel and rub that really good. And that's about, and then just make sure there's no debris anywhere else on the barrel from when you're, as you're doing that. Okay. All right? Yep. Let's get a good, good coating mm -hmm. of that hoppy well, solvent. My hand is just... Somebody's asking me, what is that hoppy? I don't know if I have some. Keep going. Uh, this is what it is right here. It's Hoppy's 9. And it's the number nine bore, gun bore cleaning. It's traditional. That's what's in that jar. And that's mm -hmm. what's being applied right now. It, it is a solvent. It does have a gas base to it. Base to it. So yeah, just be aware of that. Be in a very well ventilated area. Okay, now we can set aside the toothbrush and here comes the important part. Inside of that barrel is dirty, isn't it? So how do we clean the inside of that barrel? With okay, we, yes, we start with the bore brush. And what you do is, you, that's a nine millimeter bore brush. So you're gonna, nope, mm -hmm. why you got the slide? Oh, uh, oh here. Yeah, um, you're gonna dip that in the hoppies mm -hmm. and then you're gonna run that bore brush through there several times. Oh, and oh. There is a reason why that, ha that has a handle on it. Cause it gets stuck, oh my gosh. Push it through, push it all the way through and then pull it back. Oh, okay. Push so it you through have to push and back. All the way through. All the way through and back. All the way through back several times. Holding the handle, yes. And that's why that there's that little rubber piece so you don't get the, the um, barrel at mm -hmm. the end of your handle, which is nice. So okay. run it through, now dip that again. Get some, so mm -hmm. dip, uh, pull that out, dip that again in there. Yeah. Get, no, don't, talk, don't tap it off. Okay. Let's, yeah, just put it, you want solvent in there. Solvent okay. breaks down what has built up okay. through the shooting process. So, I don't know if they can see that or not. I guess you can see that. Okay. Okay. So the, the idea, the thought behind it is, is the question is how many times do I run that brush through? Did you have that question? Yeah. Some people uh, will say as many as times as you shot rounds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> not really necessary, but I always say at least 10 to 20%. So we shot a hundred rounds, so you should do it at least 20 times, right? In my mind, that's what I'm thinking, 20 times. And count it, and just count it out and run it through, and that's good. Okay. Okay, so now you've got solvent in there, yeah. and it's stewing a little bit. Now you wanna start to get, uh, you can put the brush down, uh, the bore brush. Now you're gonna start to use these patches in that last handle, one at a time, mm -hmm. fold it over in half, nope, mm -hmm. the other way, corner to corner. Mm -hmm. Okay, then put the triangle tip through. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Pull that through till it kind of gets st mm -hmm. sti mm -hmm. stiff or stuck. Excuse me. And now what we do, we still want to get some more in there and we're going to clean. Think about cleaning the inside of that barrel. Dip it in the solvent. Mm -hmm. Again, let, now you can let that uh, dry. You don't want it too sloppy now. Okay. And then I, I just bring the barrel to that and push that through. The other way. Nope. Always go the way you shoot the gun. Mm -hmm. Always go the way the bolts go. Mm -hmm. Good. And so you're starting to get, I don't know if you can see that, a lot of that. Yeah, that's that was a white cloth, now it's no longer mm -hmm. white. Mm -hmm. So you're starting to clean the inside of that barrel out. Mm -hmm. And 
that's getting more solvent in there, mm -hmm. which is good. So you can set that aside. So you got solvent in there. Now there's a couple things you can do here. So there's a, a different school of thoughts. You can run the bore brush again, or what they have these things called snakes now. This is a bore snake and um, for nine millimeter, as you see. And um, this is basically, you just running it through as you, um, how do you pop that off? That's interesting. Oh, would you pull that black part? There, okay. And pull that out. Okay, so the re you can see the reason why they call it a snake, mm -hmm. right? And what a part of it, interesting part of this, is it just, it will soak up a lot of that extra solvent, but then it also has a bore uh, brush mm -hmm. application to it too. So you drop this mm -hmm. in this end. Am I, am I impeding you or helping? Okay, and then run it through. Just run it through that barrel. You're, yeah, you're pulling again. There you go. Yeah. So do that a few times. This is also a good range tool in case your your barrel starts fouling or you're getting a lot of misfeeds at the range. You can pull this bore brush out, put this bore snake out, put a little solvent on it, and run it through, run it through your barrel, and you'll be up and running again. Hmm. And what you're doing in here is just getting any debris that might be lodged in that barrel. How many times have you run this through? Yeah four times it should be good because you've already brushed it yeah. you've done a lot in that in that sense okay okay good okay so that barrel is starting to get pretty clean mm -hmm. we're starting to get a place where eh, we can see that there's there's a little bit of film in that but um, we, we're gonna clean that up. So now we're gonna start the process of cleaning it. So now you wanna take I that. that's what I was doing. <laughs> you, you, you cleaned it, now you're gonna dry it. Okay. So uh, you're gonna grab that, that rod. Nope, not yet. That one and take that out and put those clean ones in. Okay. And run some clean patches through mm -hmm. that barrel. And there's different ways people do this. They have their own way and just develop it. But the idea is just make sure you're, you're getting that, that barrel clean, the inside of that barrel clean. And you can tell uh, as it comes out, if it's, you know, you still got some stuff in there, make sure you push all the way through. There you go, and push, always push through and back. Mm -hmm. So it's not gonna be perfectly clean yet. So, uh, but that's a good start. So another issue you have with the barrel is that it still has a lot of solvent on the outside. Mm -hmm. So this is where you get one of your handy dandy towels, whichever you like to use. Mm -hmm. And um, that should be good. That's all you're gonna get with that cloth. Mm -hmm. So you can set that aside. Now do two things. Wipe your hands with that, your gloves with that, and the barrel. Mm -hmm. Get the excess oil off or solvent off the barrel mm -hmm. as well. So you want to start to think about getting this solvent off to get Could the you gun. Pull up my sleeve? <laughs> so, Thank you. To get, to get the, the gun dry, so you can lubricate it and get it up and running again. So really close. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so if you feel like you got the outside of it and get all the feed ramp, make sure you run your finger across that. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now run that. Uh, now, now run that fuzzy brush through there that third rod that we haven't used. This one? Yes, and always go the same way the bullet goes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like that? Yep. Okay. And that's just a, a, a nice little, t oh, that'll get any debris in there. If you can see that or not. Put the, yeah, put the towel down. The towel is confusing. So, yeah, good. Well, my hands still aren't clean okay. all the way. Well, but... they're not gonna be completely clean. You got most of the stuff. That's good, make sure you push it through every time. Don't stop, but don't, you never go halfway. It'll go all the way through. Yes. Okay, okay. good. All right, so let's let's see what that looks like in our, that looks pretty good. I'm not doing really well. My camera's not cooperating. Oh, there we go. That looks pretty good. I'm, I'm just looking through that mm -hmm. and you can see the cleansing, cleanliness of that inside of the barrel. That's important. Oh, I sure you wish see I had looked at it before. Oh, yeah, how... that would have been important, huh? So. Yeah. Okay. All right, so 
Now you're going through that, yeah, what, exactly what you're doing, the process of getting all that solvent off these parts. Mm -hmm. And you can use that, that towel mainly. Do I go with that next? Yep. And then you've got some Q-tips here mm -hmm. for the crevices, which are really handy. Mm -hmm. Just wanna make sure that whenever you use a Q-tip, you don't leave any of the residue uh, stuck within mm -hmm. the, the nomenclature. What, what? Well, <laughs> the nomenclature? Nomenclature. That means the <laughs> functioning parts of the gun. Okay. You don't want a little fuzzball left in there because oh, it, it yes. could affect it. Oh, yes. So, Absolutely. Wipe off that. Operation of the gun. It's like having fuzz when you're putting on your makeup. <laughs> I would not know. And nor do I care to ever know. Well, you don't want so. fuzz on your face when you're putting on your makeup. So. You okay. also don't want it on your gun. So yeah, wipe on off the coil spring and you can you compress it a little bit in that together helps too if you compress can. Compress it? Yeah, this, no, no, not the, not the steel part, just the spring part. Can this you press them from end to end? Uh, there you go, yeah, see? See how you can move that a little bit? Yeah. That's good, okay, okay. just so it's fun. That's good. Okay. Okay, then keep your, you're removing the solvent that has been stewing on these parts and doing its magic and breaking down um, anything that's been deposited by the firing of the rounds. And we'll, we'll mm -hmm. be able to see that as we go. This sure is pretty. What's that? It's getting pretty. Now, now you want it, yeah, it's getting pretty again. You want to get it in the grooves. Yeah. You want to get it inside the slide. You want to push your pinky through the, the barrel hole of the slide. You want to start getting all those places that have developed and collected that uh, solvent. You want to start drying right. it up. Yeah. And I, I oftentimes will, I'll use the, yep, those are handy. So feel free to, yep. Let me see the end of that Q-tip when you, yep, you're still pulling stuff out of there. That's good. So that's, just make sure you're not leaving any little fuzzies in there. That's important. Let me get here. And then check where the firing pin comes out. Make sure it looks clean and clear. You know where the firing pin comes uh, out on the end? Right here. Yes. Make sure that's clean. Yep, good. And then you can use the Q-tips around the barrel and where the, um, coil spring hole is as well. So you've got a, that's where the barrel goes and the other small one is for the coil spring. Recoil spring, not coil spring, recoil. So good. That's really is, dirty. That is really dirty because that compensator. We can't use this there? Uh, I'd rather not. That's for the All barrel. Right. That's a special for the barrel only. Oh, okay. Use, uh, but, I, but you can use the other rod that has the clean oh, white yeah. at yes yeah. push that through or even push a towel through if you want you can push the towel part of the towel if you want to through that yeah, right. however you want to do it but yeah you've already used that so yeah how does that look pretty good okay. I think. I mean, yeah I'm the tooth the, excuse me toothpicks the um q-tips are very handy yeah uh, you can you can buy them for gun cleaning with long handles on them, but or you can just buy them from the drugstore, <laughs> okay. much cheaper and in bulk. So whichever you prefer. So okay, that's mm -hmm. pretty. No, I've got, okay. I've got some spots yeah, here. that area. Yeah, that area. Yeah, it has some what, cleaning solvent. There. Right. Okay, flip that barrel over slowly. Rotate it over slowly so people can see. Yeah, that that's what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. That's where it's going to be really dirty. We may even have to brush that again. Is it coming off? Oof. Yes. See, that is filthy. So we probably should have brushed that more. more. Do you want me to brush yeah. it right now? Or yeah, mm. if it's if it's still if you're taking off that much, you probably want to brush the majority of that off, and you can just run it. That's why I say run it across the top. Run it across the top this way. Mm. And just like, well, you can see it's in there. And then it hit the edges as you're doing that. So yeah, it's nice having the compensator, but this is one of the complaints against it, is that uh, the dirtiness that it causes in compensating for that blowback and letting the, all those gases and everything escape through the top of the slide. 
Um, but yeah, you know, we get used to it. And it's, and it's fixable, you can clean it. Nothing's irreparable in this. And if it got dirty, you can clean it. So. Good. Okay. Let's move to, yeah. we don't wanna, we're gonna put everybody to sleep here. Yeah, that's, yeah. So You're let's, have to edit. you got the idea of it. So let's move to the frame. Okay. Just uh, let's dry the frame off, and same thing. You're just you're just hitting okay. the the major uh, deposit of of that solvent on the frame, the cleaning solvent on there, mm -hmm. and even just trying to stick your pinky with a with a towel up the mag well, down the mag well, or that. So you can use that. That works well. Mm, it's not really not yeah. yeah. So and then the Q-tips work really well in within the slide. Yeah, yeah, you want to run them down the slide, both sides, and then it, all of that uh, internal mm -hmm. striker that you've got going there. Very dirty. Yes, I get very dirty. And we hadn't cleaned it for the first 500 rounds either, so. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. Okay, and then okay. check and check the um, that ramp area. That's really important right here. Make sure there's no debris in there because mm -hmm. that that's that makes up the ramp, which causes the uh, round to be submitted into the barrel. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this Back together. together. But when we do that, we want to we want to make some light applications of oil. Okay. So you want to put oil wherever the, wherever you can see. First of all, wherever you can see where. Uh -huh. So what do I mean by where? Okay. I don't know. Look inside that that slide. See inside that slide. Yeah. See the silver and the black right yeah. there. Yes, I do. That's where. There's a little bit of where. So I want a couple of drops of oil there, um, and then uh, the barrel often can often. Not yet, it hasn't, but they can show where. Mm -hmm. But a little oil on, on the barrel, on that area, and then on the on the rails. All of, I put a, a line so down the rails. So a drop or two? Yep, drop or so two drop in there. right there. Drop or two, where you at? Uh, two, right there. Like that, do I touch okay. it? Nope, just leave it, just leave okay. it. Okay, and then do I put it there? No, that's, no. that's, uh, that's a normal. Okay. So go ahead and drop the barrel in. Okay. Because now you're starting to reassemble. You got oil. Okay. Oh dear. How does um, that go in? Okay. Just like that. Like that? Yep. Just like that. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. this is where it gets a little trickier because you have to hold that gun firmly in your left hand mm -hmm. and turn it around. Right? Because you're going to put the recoil spring inside mm -hmm. that hole, and then mm -hmm. you're going to push put pressure on it and lock it in behind mm -hmm. that latch on the barrel. Let me see. Did you get it? I don't think so. Mm -mm. Nope, you didn't. So yeah, you have to. Let's see. Gosh. Okay. Try to skip. Okay. Okay. It's just not giving, you know. Okay. Can you? Yeah, I'm out. You have to hold this for a second. Okay. Okay. See if I can do it. Okay. So yeah, you put it. You get it right, right there. You put it, and then you just push that baby. The barrel has to be. Oh, the barrel's not back. So oh. the barrel was not in back in place. Okay. That's always going to happen. Well, let me do it again. That's still tough. I got it. Oh. We had the wrong end. Oh. That's always going to be a problem. So there's a, there's a. There's two different yes, ends. Yes. That end with the, it's like oblong. You see that? Yeah. That goes in this end. That goes in this side. And this, this comes in here. So you can see how it now. Okay. Right? Yeah. And I'm able to put it in place. Okay. Okay, so that's set. 
So there's a there's a slide back together. That's ready to go. So where does what are you gonna do with that slide assembly now? You're gonna join it back together with the frame. <laughs> All right. Yeah, all right. Okay. Yes, and it's gonna start right here. But yeah, you, but you wanna start rolling it. Yeah, good. Bring it all the way back and then lock the slide. Think about that. You're gonna have to lock the slide, rack it back, and then however you need to do it. You can grab that aperture, it doesn't matter. At optic, excuse me. Nope, you want you want to lock the slide back. Just think about locking the slide back. Don't think about the lever. Okay. I can grab the optic. Yeah. That's the way to do it. There. So you're just holding it wrong. You have to get your hands yeah. in the right place to do it. Okay. okay. And what happened there is, is the that takedown yes. lever returned by itself, which I've yes. seen on features of that gun. Actually, I like that on this gun. Yeah. So um, now you're going to cycle that slide a few times, make sure it's locked in and, and, and functioning. Run it. Yeah. Run it. Pull the trigger real fast. Pull the trigger. Make sure it shoots. Yeah. Okay. Good. And then um, you you're satisfied that that's it's functioning, it's working. Yeah. It's ready to go. Then okay. what we would do is I like to give this like a light coat of oil. I take the gloves off. I take yeah. the gloves off. I give it a light coat of oil, and then. Uh, How do you do that with one of these things? Nope. I just drop it on there in my hands. But you can't do it with a solvent gloves on that will have to come off okay. this is where it you you are going to have oil on your hands okay if you do this just drops just in a little bit drop yep oh. that's it that's enough Ooh. okay so give it a little massage rub the whole thing all over the all over it and then you're gonna have to wipe it with a towel because you use you can't you it's one drop literally oh, one drop okay. it's literally if even that okay so and then so I like to cycle the slide, just make sure in my mind that that's working. Grab the optic, use okay. the optic. Use that optic, that's why it's there. Okay. All right, now wipe it off and clean it up. Now you wanna make sure that there's no more oil, no oil or anything. Uh, run that through the trigger, the trigger guard, run it up the barrel of uh, the magazine well. The back side, the back strap, uh, everywhere. You just like, okay, this, I gotta get this thing absolutely free of any oils or debris at this point. And I probably won't take the band aid off yet either, but I, cause I just wanna make sure. But that. Okay. So, how does it look? Are you satisfied? Does it look pretty clean? Yeah, I think it does. Are you? It do you? Well, it does. A band aid doesn't really help, but I'll take mm -hmm. that off okay. and we'll clean it up. So that's it. So, how was that your experience of <laughs> cleaning for the first time the P365X macro? That was great. That's it. <laughs> yeah, did it was did you learn anything about the, the, the gun itself as you were cleaning it or well, the simplicity every, of the parts? Everything is a step simply you know building layer upon layer in the knowledge of guns this is the first time i've ever cleaned a gun so it's one step of learning how to do it looks pretty good yeah all right anything else to say subscribe like um thanks for watching all right we'll see you guys next time bye-bye we'll be at the range <laughs>